Gran Turismo 7 has the best dynamic, unpredictable races you can get anywhere in this race. The rain can come at any time. It can be intensely hard. It can be a drizzle. You just don't know. We're going to start this race on the hard tyre, but we know the rain is coming. Is it going to be the right decision? Look at the radar now. You can see the rain. So you want to have a look in this race. What are the other drivers going to do? Are they on the intermediate tyres? Are they going to start on the hards and come in for wet weather tyres or intermediate tyres? What are we going to do? So many things to kind of work out and drive fast at the same time. Let's see how we do. Let's go. We always get a much better launch than the McLarens, don't we? Try and steal something off. Just go around the outside of them. I think. Oh god. Keeping on the wipers, chat, everyone. Like wipers are going, so keeping on the moisture meter. So someone really cut Lake Hume there. Yeah, wipers are going again. Okay, I can visible rain now. Visible rain. But again, the, the, the sun is sort of shining as well, so I feel like it's going to be temporary but we just got to make sure we see this through four wheel drive we should be okay but the mclaren is all over us frankly how bad is this rain gonna get See on the moisture meter, it's quite bad there actually. Just sort of stay defensive there. Oh no. Well, it's about to get real bad. If I was him, I would not go around the outside here in these conditions. Do we have any people in intermediates catching us, maybe? Anyone going to dive into the pits, even? Oh, he's dived into the pits. I think that's a terrible decision. I really do. But... Oh, God. Oh, God, I've made a bad decision here. let this rain end. Please let this rain end. We're in such danger of aquaplaning. Come on, man. Look at the radar there. That guy's just absolutely gone. Make it stop. Should have braked there a lot earlier. That's the rain crew, can you see, going through Lake Hume. Oh god. Okay, it's gonna stop, it's gonna stop! It's gonna stop, we just need to see it through. We just need to see it through. That's it, we just need to see it through, chat.
Because they're on the inters, if they're not going to make it to the end... Three and a half second penalty for that, you blind ref. It's wet conditions, how can you just slam me with a penalty? Oh, I saved by him, yeah. <laughs> the rain's coming to an end! Look at the radar. All of that crew is about to catch us. But it might be neck and neck as the rain ends, you know? They're probably going to overtake us as we're taking our penalty. There they are. These are the Inters. This is the Intermediate Crew. Back of playing through the penalty zone. So many penalties. Have you ever seen that in your life? Left and bats. Look at the moisture meter, it's gonna come down! It's gonna come down, I back ourselves here! I really do. I really back ourselves. That McLaren might actually be, because they also stayed out. Oh, what a race this is! Keep an eye on the moisture meter, everyone. I've got to find dry lines and quick. We're down to P9. But, honestly, I really back ourselves here. Come on. Come on, my guy, let's go. Find that dry line. There we go. Look at this. Eight seconds off the lead only is to get past this 4C. This is where in real life, when I go karting in, well, when I was really doing Club 100 properly, that's the championship, Super GT, Jimmy Broadbent racing. I used to struggle in these exact conditions, wet to dry. So I've now got to exercise those demons. And on my PS5, I've got to find the pace now. We have to stay off the kerbs. There's not a lot of visible, but there's no visible puddles here. I don't know, it might rain again near the end of the race. Gotta catch them up. This is the exact sort of racing they should be doing, Gran Turismo, isn't it? Holy moly, just went purple. How on earth is that possible? I guess it started raining really early, didn't it? What can we look at see, man? 8.2 seconds off the lead chat, keep an eye on that. Eight point three off. You're screwed, mate. You're screwed, I think. That's basically waving a white flag. Leader is just going around Las Source now. Let's punch it. I don't know if the leader is on dry tyres or something. Welcome, M1M. Great to see you, man. M1M and Willow in the chat. How good is that? Bit of back painting at the top. 8.1 seconds. 
Look at them going on the wet stuff. We don't need to. We don't need to. Going purple again. See how wet the curbs are. Just stay off them. 7.9 seconds, but we need to bring that down now. Need to bring it down about two seconds a lap. Let's try and get Ramirez. There's a the McLaren. It's completely blown dry here, isn't it? Look at the moisture meter. McLaren's gone wide. Ramirez gives her the space, 6.7.6 to the leader. McLaren's getting all over the kerbs. I think it might be losing time with it. Apple again. This would be just an absolutely insane result. We could win this, but we're P5 right now, 7.1 seconds. Let's Seven seconds. Seven seconds, but we can see him. We can see the German driver there. Don't know why he's all. Uh, uh, this guy surely can't be on the inters, but I'm not sure why he's over the wet stuff deliberately. Ramirez was on the wet tyres. Wow, and he's he was on the wet tyres, not even the inters. Right, let's try and have uh, the McLaren up the hill here. Just try and make sure we're not a casual C. Up into P4. Six seconds off the lead. We need that gap to come down quicker. Two intermediate drivers ahead. Been very kind of committed to our strategy here. It's a really satisfying thing, I think, in actually in just life generally. Will spin. When you when you have a strategy and you just commit to it. We'll see if it's going to work out for us. Oh, okay, those curves get very wet. 5.5 to the lead. Cars to get past there. I'd be very surprised if these people are going to pit. We'll see. I mean, it is bone dry though. Tyres are going to be overheating significantly. Another purple lap. With any luck, we're going to get through this guy. He takes the penalty. And we can think about the uh, GTR on the Kemmel Street. Just give him a wide berth. Okay. Try not to slip up, but this is probably the most difficult corner of the track, these conditions. What's the GTR going to do? 4.4 to the leader. Three laps to go, everyone. I want to hear from you. Do you think we're going to win this race? Yes or no? Just let me know what your vibe is. Do not go purple there, but it can in as in P8. Can we clear him? Yep. Risky, but we did it.
Okay, target acquired. 3.5 seconds. M1M believes it. M Mihal believes it. Tropical wants it. Okay, I'm feeling the vibes. Benny B likes it. I'm feeling the vibes, everyone. But it's tricky for us as well. No rain on the radar right now. Didn't go purple there. We're doing the overtake, I suppose. 2.5 seconds. Looks like a Cayman ahead of us. Black Yinder believes it as well. The race is fully dynamic, everyone, so the rain can come at any point. It's just full, random, dynamic weather like you would have in real life. I think it's uh, predetermined. So I'll just casually check the radar every now and then. Obviously, if, if this guy heads on into us, then he is absolutely praying for a rain shower right now. That would just be heaven to him. But we stuck it out, you know, we paid our dues. We were in the wall many times. We were spinning around. We fell all the way back, you know, was it P10 or something like that? We fell all the way back. We're gonna have two laps to get this guy. Nothing on the radar still. Thanks, Nick. Appreciate it. Yeah, no tourist rain here. Mat Matisse likes it as well. I'm feeling the vibes, everyone. I'm feeling it. Let's attack. Yeah, I'll take that line. Welcome, Phil. Good to see you, man. You just joined for an absolutely insane race here. Either dive up the inside here, or it's a bit awkward going into a region. A dive up the inside. He might be sort of making way. Let's see. It's got a decent exit, you know. Very decent exit. He might be a pain for us on the Camel Straight. There is some moisture on the curve, which might help him, but he's dropping back now. This is all because we had a race earlier where we made a terrible, terrible, terrible strategic error. Terrible strategic mistake. We threw away a lead and we finished, like, P12. And I think we've learned from that so far. But if it rains again, it's all going to reverse. So we absolutely just need to keep on extend this now to build a buffer in case it does rain near the end. And we've seen that there have been rain showers that pass... Nervously looking at it. Don't know if there's anyone that behind who can beat us on pure pace. But racing is not always about pure pace. Fortune favours a brave. Yeah, we were definitely brave. I think brave or stupid. <laughs> One of them, or a combination. I thought the windscreen wipers were going there. It's just the reflections. So obviously a bit on edge. go around and we're going to approach the last lap hopefully with a buffer in case it does start to get very stormy I and mean, it is cloudy it could rain but seriously I mean how good is Gran Turismo when they do stuff like this it's just and they knew it was a bank holiday Monday as well they knew I'd be able to stream thanks guys We're not absolutely destroying the guy, but he's still kind of there or thereabouts if we have a mistake, you know? Let's see if that, Surely they can't pit as well. They're really committed to that scrap. Yeah, we're going for our second win in the row. Nothing on the radar. I'll have to see it. Keep going round. I'd love to see the sun come out. That would be glorious. I can see sun poking from somewhere. Welcome, Ricardo. Oh, look at the emojis. Shocked emojis coming out. Love the reactions. Shocked 
surely, surely even I can't blow this, chat. Surely even I cannot blow this, right? Purple or not, let's see. Yes. Finish it strong, come on. Still wet on the curves there, but... Don't jinx it. I'm getting too relaxed, chat. There's too many love hearts in the in the chat streaming out. Imagine this feeling. Because I, I do karting in real life, but we don't change tyres in karting, it's just... You stay on there, stick tyres even, right? But imagine this feeling in real life. If, like, imagine you, everyone in chat, you really called that strategy change. You were like, stay out, stay out. Everyone's like, stay out, stay out emojis. And you called it. Imagine in real life how you would feel at the strategist being like, yes, we are romping home. This is just one of the most dominant wins we've seen today. Well, this is the most dominant we've seen today. <coughs> Six second lead, all because of your strategy decision, right? How good is that? Sun's out now, absolutely no chance of rain. Nothing's gonna spoil our parade now. Look at this. Ooh. Seven second lead. Oh my word. This is the sweetest victory I can remember in Gran Turismo 7. What strategy takes away, strategy gives, you know. P1, everyone! P1! Dominating! Ah! Oh. And we weren't the only one on that strategy. That guy in P3, I'm pretty sure he was the same. I'm pretty sure he was the same strat. So we still finished 14 seconds ahead. We just... I think the key thing in that race is that we just remained so cool when it was undrivable. 